Hello, City of Paris. I'm Everett Hambly, filling in for Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome to the weekly update. We begin today with an exciting announcement of recognition of our Community Services Department and the Paris Senior Center. City officials are proud to report the Paris Senior Center as the 2021 recipient of the Excellence in Design Award for Facility Design, given by the California Park and Recreation Society, or CPRS. The Paris Senior Center Billiards Room was recognized for their design efforts and community programming, and as a group was honored to receive the 2021 award. Park and recreation agencies throughout the state provide families, individuals, and groups spaces and places for play and exercise. Additionally, facilities like the Paris Senior Center Billiards Room provide activities that foster social connections, human development, therapy, the arts, and lifelong learning. According to Interim City Manager Clara Miramontes, quote, the CPRS Awards program is the highest recognition our agency can receive, and our award is a credit to the community services staff, Paris City Council, and senior community that made this happen, end quote. The City of Paris is honored to receive this award on behalf of our seniors, and we look forward to reopening this facility to celebrate with you. To learn more about the CPRS Excellence Awards, visit CPRS.org. And last week we told you about our COVID-19 memorial on the main City Hall campus, which was authorized at the March 9th City Council meeting. On Friday, March 19th, the City offered a vehicle memorial procession to honor the lives lost from the COVID-19 pandemic. Karina Espinosa was in attendance and has more on this story. Karina? We're standing outside the COVID-19 memorial located on City Hall campus where the community vehicle procession is taking place. The community mourns and pays tribute to family and friends lost in the COVID-19 pandemic. It's important to give residents a space to grieve because we want residents to know that every single life that has been lost due to this pandemic is precious. We know we get carried away by the numbers that are reported on the daily, but we want the residents to know that this is a special opportunity for them to come and mourn as a community and that they're not mourning alone. In our city, we've lost 175 members of our residents. They've left behind families, they've left behind wives, husbands, loved ones that are missing them very greatly. On behalf of the mayor and the city council and the city of Paris, we'd like to offer our sincere condolences to all our Paris uh, family members who have lost a loved one, a relative, a friend to this horrific pandemic, uh, COVID-19, and just want them to know that we do care about all our family here in Paris to the extent that we've even placed a white flag out in front in our yard here to represent those who have lost their lives. We're with you, Paris. Paris together. The memorial will remain standing after today's event for residents to visit, mourn, and reflect. And now it's time for one of our favorite segments with our good friend, Mr. Brad Brophy, who is here to talk about what's going on with construction throughout the city. Brad, what do you got for us? Thanks, Everett. The first item I'd like to talk about is the city's ongoing Getz Road Improvements Project. Construction for this widening project has been underway for a little over three months and is making significant progress. Project completion is still scheduled for this summer. Another capital improvement project I'd like to give an update on is the upcoming CDBG Citywide Pedestrian Improvements Project. This project will install sidewalk and other pedestrian improvements at various city locations. Some of the locations include Ruby Drive next to Paris High School, Redlands Avenue north of Nuevo Road, and also A Street adjacent to Paris Elementary School. This project is anticipated to start construction in May. Please contact the City Engineer's Office at 951-943-6504 with any questions or concerns. Now for a look at your five-day forecast, here's Karina Espinoza with the weather. Thanks, Brad. The temperature in Paris will stay cool Thursday and Friday, warming up as we head into the weekend. The winds will pick up a bit on Thursday and calm down as we warm up. Expect some clouds in the morning, clearing up in the afternoon. We will have a slight chance of rain on Thursday and Friday, so make sure and keep those jackets and umbrellas handy just in case. Stay safe, Paris. Back to you, Everett. Thanks, Karina. And finally today, with Riverside County and the city of Paris moving into the red or substantial tier of California's blueprint for a safer economy, Paris residents can expect to see traditional in-person services become more available to the general public. As of March 22, 2021, various city departments have begun resuming their regularly scheduled counter hours. Residents can now visit City Hall to conduct city business at development services, code enforcement, 
community services, public works, and administrative services at the main City Hall campus. All counter services at the Bob Glass Gym, Statler Youth Center, and Paris Senior Center will remain closed until further notice. Online services will remain available as well. And if you must visit City Hall to conduct business, please remember to wear a mask, wash and sanitize your hands, and maintain six feet or more of social distance. We want to see all of our in-person services come back online, but as Mayor Vargas says, it takes a village to run a city, and we need everyone to do their part. And that's it for your weekly update. Don't forget to follow us on the Paris Today Facebook page, and be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at City of Paris, and subscribe to the Paris TV YouTube channel for around-the-clock coverage from wherever you are from your tablet or smartphone device. From the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, I'm Everett Hambly, and that's the Muse.